So welcome, we will be solving some of the Achiever section problems from uh, class 4th. Now these Achiever section problems are really interesting. The idea is conceptual understanding. So far we have discussed across the various topics that are part of the syllabus and we have understood the very fundamentals. In this section, our idea would be how to apply those concepts here when the questions are asked. So the questions are formed in such a way that they are not directly asking about what is the concept so there has to be a understanding and um, a kind of critical thinking to analyze the problems so let's begin with some of the their state given at various temperatures very interesting part understand it very carefully if i'm if i'm keeping one substance i'm keep on i'll keep on giving it heat but still it is not changing its state, it's not boiling. That means it has the highest boiling point. That means one which is in liquid state up to 90 degrees Celsius would be the one with the highest boiling point. So here among the three, this is the only one. X is the only substance which is in liquid state till 90 degrees Celsius. That's it, that's, it's still not boiling or it starts boiling at 90. That means it has the highest boiling point. So either A or D could be the answer. Now, we have to identify lowest boiling point. Lowest boiling point means as we increase the temperature, it quickly becomes the gas. So here, from 10 to 40, it's liquid to liquid and from 40 to 90, then it would become gas. So it's not that quick, but here, why? From 10 to 40 only it turns into gaseous state. That means it quickly turns into a gaseous state with a little of heat. So what is the one? It is Y here. So the lowest boiling point would be for Y. The highest boiling point would be for X. So the correct answer here would be D. Very, very important. I explain again. The substance which would remain liquid at the highest temperature would be the one which has the highest boiling point. It is liquid at 90 degrees Celsius also and therefore it has the highest boiling point. However, Y turns out into a gaseous state only from 10 degrees to 40 degrees. Water boils at 100 degrees. It is turning out to gas at 40 degrees itself. So it has the lowest boiling point and that's how you identify questions like these. The next one is an interesting problem from the topic on friction force which we have understood before as well. Now friction is a force that opposes the normal movement, right? If I am moving forward, frictional force would resist that movement. It won't allow me to easily move forward. If that would be in the same direction, I would probably slip, right? Uh, so when it's lubricating, when it is oil surface, probably you have a more tendency to slip easily on the ground. So friction resists that movement. Now, how much friction would be offered would be directly related to the amount of force. If the amount of force is more, the friction would be more. If the amount of force is less, the friction would be less. Now you have to find out the least amount of friction. That means which has least amount of force among these four. We have 28 as the least amount. So W would have the least amount of friction. So A would become the right answer for this question. The next question here. Now this is a question from digestive system. Uh, you have placed equal amount of food, which is PQRS, in the digestive juices X and Y, which is from saliva and a small intestine. Saliva, what it digests is amylase, uh, what it actually uh, releases is amylase, digests carbohydrates. A small intestine also digests lactose uh, and sucrose by lactase and sucrase. So both of them we can say predominantly we are talking about the amount of carbohydrate being digested. Now, after a certain amount, the undigested food is explained. So, P has this amount of undigested food and uh, this X, sorry, with the juice X, P, Q, R and S, the amount of undigested food is given here. And with the juice Y, the amount of undigested food is given. Which of the food is most rich in dietary fiber? The amount of undigested food remains same for P food type. That means P is rich in dietary fiber. It has not been digested either in saliva or in the small intestine. It remained the same. Why? Because it is dietary fiber. Fiber was not digested. 
so p is the right answer for fiber the next is which of the sample is rich in carbohydrate now rich in carbohydrate so p would be the answer from these two so i remove choices a and d right now with p we have two options we have either q or r but don't go on to the option go on to the diagram here on to the diagram we see we have to identify the sample which is rich in carbohydrate so which is digested most i see s and s is digested till here so only this amount of s i can say is digested in juice y r a lot of it is digested so this is the amount of r which is digested and q this is the amount of q which is digested right so the highest amount of food which is digested in juice y is what r so r would be rich in carbohydrate so r would be the answer here so p and r would be the correct options